it's still only five minutes. Um, I don't think this is the real problem. Apparently we're pixel poor and we need a lower resolution. But before I could do longer videos, so I don't actually know what's going on. Um, I tried to Google it and I didn't get any answers. Uh, anyway, uh, please like and share these videos and subscribe. It would really help me a lot um, if any of these things are good for you or even if you don't like them and you just like me uh, or if you don't like me and you want to share with your friends because uh, that's fun for you. Um, I don't care why you do it. I would like for you to do it. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Um, anywho, I want to share something that my daddy told me that was really important because I never thought about this before he said it to me. So, um, it's not as simple as, uh, like blind faith. Uh, we people who believe in God and believe in Jesus, um, there's a, there's a peace in a, like a feeling, a knowing that, um, is kind of incredible. It's, I mean, you wouldn't think that all these people um, just believe to believe without any kind of proof or any kind of uh, evidence. Um, you know, unfortunately, we're, we're human and we should question things, but um, we have to pay attention to the evidence that we get. And so my dad told me a long time ago that there is a difference between uh, being, you know, in the presence of the Holy Spirit, you know, which feels good. And when you experience that, you think like, I'm good. Like I got Jesus. Um, you, like, this is it. I did it. Um, and that's not really true because, uh, the thing is less you can, you, you have to feel better. Like you can feel the presence of God or a godly presence or angels and it feels good. And, um, yes, that is the presence of God, but it's a whole different thing when, uh, the Holy Spirit dwells in you, which, you know, it took me a really long time to get there. And you'll find when that happens that um, your heart changes like it has changed. And you start to see things in a really different light, in a really different way. And it happens, you know, that changing of your heart kind of happens gradually. But once you get it, you get it. And there isn't really any going back. Or it's, I, I would say it's not easy to. I can't imagine going back. Um, but that's important because uh, when you look at when Jesus came back the first time, even though all his disciples knew him and had walked with him and seen all these miracles, they didn't recognize him. They didn't recognize him when they're walking around the street talking. They're sad because he's not there, but he's right there. Okay? Second time he comes back. Um, and he gives the disciples the uh, the Holy Spirit. He breathed on them and gave them, you know, the power to remit sins. And, um, but Thomas <laughs> wasn't there when that happened. And uh, he didn't believe without seeing. And I'm not going to believe that's Jesus unless I see um, the scars, you know. And so Jesus showed it to him. Uh, but he didn't backtrack and say, uh, let me go back and here's the Holy Spirit. He said, Blessed are those that believed without seeing. Um, so faith is really important, and it's really important not to forget. So if God has done these things in your life and shown you who he is, um, that should be incentive enough to keep believing. And he is gracious, and he's so merciful, and we go through things, and we're huge people, because no matter how many things that have happened, you know, in the ways of miracles for us, it's so easy to forget and get discouraged again. And it blows my mind how often I can even do that. You know, I cry myself to sleep a lot, you know, and it's not, it, it's at the point now where I know, you know, I can talk through it and be like, I know I just feel this way. Like, yes, I trust you completely, but I feel like garbage right now. And just like, let me feel it and get through it. And it doesn't last that long. But um, <laughs> anyway, I thought that was important to say. I only have five minutes and I'm almost there. Um, but it's these little things that if you keep in mind and, you know, maybe make a habit of recalling from time to time how wonderful things have been and uh, the blessings that you do have and the things that have worked out for you kind of help you uh, maintain your faith. Anyway, I love you. Have a wonderful day. And like, share, subscribe. Thank you.